Hey, this is some more Train of Afterlife. I just finished talking to everyone, so hopefully I get this part of the game right now, and we will get a new ending. Alright. I think I've talked to everyone. This train is peaceful. What a peaceful place. It's nice to be here. Hello. It was yet another unfamiliar voice. Huh? Wait a second. I thought there were only five people riding on this train. Little Mary, Dee, Darwin, Bluebird, and me. There shouldn't be another person. Who could it be? Saw a shadow of a young boy. An extraordinary feeling shrouded me. A sensation like no other. I instantly knew that he was different from everyone else. What's your name? Wind. Wind? You mean like the breeze? Yes. What a coincidence. My name is Wing. Wing? Yes. The wing that flies to the sky. I didn't think we should sh would share such similar names. Feels like a matching pair. Yes, wind and wing. I like that. I wonder if you'll laugh at me if I say st I feel a strange connection to you. It's like you're my missing half. I won't laugh. On the contrary, I can't laugh because that's how I feel too. That was when the clock within me began to tick. And we roll our credits that are really pretty. I really like this game. <laughs> yeah, I really hope that my hypothesis seizes are correct. And what happens to these characters and that they're all connected, hopefully. I'm not quite sure because I've only played as much as you guys have seen. Alrighty. The first hour. Let's do this again. Huh? In a blink of an eye, Wing was nowhere to be found. Where could he be? What should I do now? Find little Mary. Six feet? What should I do? Talk to you. If you're looking for Mary, she isn't here. She said she's going to the ninth seat. I see. Thanks for telling me. By the way, did you happen to see someone by the name of Wang? Wang? Who's that? It's someone I met a moment ago. I'm afraid that's the first time I've ever heard of such a name. I see. To the ninth seat, then. What should I do? Talk to Mary. Oh, hi there. Are you here to play the tarot cards too? Tarot cards? I see. You don't know about it yet. I heard from one of the previous passengers that you may learn something about yourself if you try it. Like the fellow beside me. Bluebird, he desperately wants to know about his past life, so he tries it all the time. How about you? Do you want to give it a try? I'm not sure if I want to. I understand where you're coming from. Sometimes not knowing anything is a blessing. Well, you don't have to force yourself. Like I said, you're free to do anything you want on this train. Your past memories probably don't mean anything here anyway. 
By the way, did you happen to see someone by the name of Wang? I've asked around, but no one seems to know. No, I've never heard of it. Could that be a new passenger? I don't know. I decided to return to my seat. No one had seen Wing but me. As I pondered in silence, a familiar voice greeted me once more. May I sit here? Wing, is that you? Where did you go? I was looking all over for you just now. I was here the whole time. Huh? What do you mean by that? You shouldn't worry about it. By the way, you've seen the tarot cards, haven't you? Yeah, I heard from Mary that you may learn something from yourself about it. Are you gonna try it? Huh? Aren't you at least curious about your past life? Like what kind of person you used to be? I don't know. A little, I guess. That's the same with me. It's not a bad idea if you start everything from scratch. Having a brand new life and name, building a new identity and memories. Yet at the same time, there's a lingering feeling that something is missing. Perhaps you should go back and ask everyone's opinion about it. That's a good idea. I'll do that. Our number two. Alright, I'll go ask everyone's opinion. Start with Mary, of course, since she's the per person I know. Is that you, Wind? Hi, Mary. I'm sorry to bother you again. May I ask you a question? Sure. You went to read about your past life just now, didn't you? Yes. I, I wasn't as curious as Bluebird, and I really look forward to seeing the end of this ride. And yet, I couldn't resist. My curiosity got the rest, the best of me. Did you recall anything? It wasn't much, but I did get a little bit here and there. I see. Say, did you know the cause of death? can generally be classified into four categories. Death by natural causes, death by accident, death by murder, and death by suicide. Which do you think you belong to? I don't know. Then which do you think most people would hope for? Death by natural causes, I suppose. Yeah, you're probably right. I sense relief as Mary uttered those words. Are you satisfied with it? Are you talking about knowing my past? Yeah. To be honest, I don't really know. I feel as if I've just woken up from a very long dream. And what remains in front of me is nothing but sweet and bitter truth. Talk to you now. Excuse me. Yes? Do you always stay here? Yes. I don't intend to leave until I reach my destination. Have you ever tried the tarot cards? No, I have no intention to try them. Why? I don't have any interest in knowing my past. Not even a little? Yeah. Memories are just a part of our earthly bodies. They are meant to be thrown away when you are reborn. We no longer belong to that world, so we must learn to purge our lingering attachment to it. If you become too attached, you will eventually lose yourself. Let nature decide our path and go with the flow. At the very least, that is what I believe in. Is that really the right answer? Are you sure that's the right answer? How can we even know if it's true? Where should I go? Let's 
go to the servant see Well, I could probably go back and talk about it, right? Hey, wind. Do you always look outside the window? In everyone's life, there has to be a window. It's a place where you seek breath of fresh air. A room without a window is suffocating, isn't it? But what we probably need most is not a window. Talk to Darwin, I guess. Right here. It's in the next huh? What should I do now? Let's talk to Bluebird. He still looks busy with his cards. Oh, is that you, Wind? Sorry, please give me some more time. Just a little bit longer and I'll be done. Okay. Hey, Darwin. Hey, Wendy. I'm here to play the tarot cards. What about you? Are you interested in knowing your past? Not really. I'm just bored, you see. This feels like watching memories of someone else rather than my own. Kind of like watching TV. If I think of it that way, what I, won't, what I see won't be anything more than stuff to kill time. I see. How was it? I... Curious about my past. I've decided. I'll try out the tarot cards. That's wonderful. Are you enjoying this? Yes. It's because I want to know more about you. Don't you want to know more about yourself? My past doesn't make me who I am. Is that so? Then who are you now? What makes you, you? I couldn't answer that question. Don't worry, I'll always be here for you, no matter what the answer is. Third hour? Try the tarot cards. If I don't try, I'll never know. Couldn't see him, but I feel as if he were smiling at me as I uttered those words. He had a sweet and bitter smile. Was that just my imagination? Oh. Seven feet. Wrong place. I'm going to play the tarot cards. I see, so you're finally going to do it too, huh? If there's anything interesting, tell me, okay? Okay. I'll see what I can do. Great. I look forward to it. Where should I go? To the ninth seat. Talk to Bluebird. Oh, hello. Sorry for taking such a long time. What were you doing all this time? Oh, I was playing the tarot cards. You probably heard this from Mary. I really want to know about my past. She said you are desperate. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. I would have thought that it's normal for people to be curious about what kind of person they used to be. Apparently, I'm a rarity. Most are either undecided or conflicted. And then there are those like you who are completely against seeing it. Honestly, I don't get it. What about you? Do you want to give it a try? I'm ready. I think I'm ready. That's the spirit. Since this is your first time, let me explain how it works. There are a total of 12 cards. The star, the sun, the earth, the moon, the hope, the love, the balance, the fortune, the angel, the devil, the hermit, and the joker. Not all of these can be read in the beginning, but as you go deeper into your memories, you'll be able to read whichever card you want. You can choose one card per play. 
After that, you'll need to wait an hour before you can try again. You can try up to nine times. Any longer than that is too dangerous for your mind, so make sure you choose carefully. When you confirm your selection, hold the card and close your eyes. You'll see the flashback relating to your past. What flashback you see will depend on the cards you choose. For example, the star relates to your birth, while the fortune relates to your wealth when you are still alive. What I've told you is based on my experiences and the previous passengers, what they have told me. Don't count on them as facts, but I think they should be good enough for general guidelines. So are you ready? Mm, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, choose a card. Let's start with the star. Okay, that's the star. Now hold on to it and close your eyes. Happy birthday, Faye. Happy birthday. We are officially 11 years old now. Yeah. What's your birthday wish? Um, I want to hurry up and become an adult. That way I can support our parents and the family. That sounds just like you. It's truly a wonderful wish. How about you, Yi? Huh? Don't you have a birthday wish too? I... I want to stay with you forever. What kind of wish is that? I'm already here by your side, aren't I? <laughs> You're right. But, Faye, that's really the only wish I have. We may be struggling to live, but I still feel that I'm the happiest person in the world right now. Are you okay? Yeah. What you've just seen is a flashback. It probably won't make so much sense right now, especially if this is your first time. Come back in an hour if you want to try again. I will understand.